Hey guys, Ben Funderburg here with Hey Man Fishing. On today's episode, we're gonna work some of these Bobby Garlands on a brush pile for crappy. Just off the main channel, I'm working, uh, this brush pile is uh, going into the back of a creek uh, right off the main channel. So we're gonna work it, see what we can do. The water temperature is in the upper 70s. The air temperature is in the, uh, I think it's like 73. Really nice, early morning. And we got a good cloudy day, and we got a hurricane coming in about two days up this way. So uh, let's see what we can do with these fish. Stay tuned. Okay, you can see where I'm running up on these, this brush pile. Uh, we got some fish on there. We don't know what size is on it, but we're going to definitely check them out. All right, I got that Barbie Garland on here. I'm using a, I got this thing tied on a loop knot. And um, tell you what, we're going to fix this stabilization. right there all right let me see if I can find my brush pile there we go like I say I'm using a I'm using a quarter ounce uh, weight to get this thing down there we go all right, I got this lure down there. I just get one of them to bite it. Y'all see what I'm looking at right here. Just get one of them to bite that old Bobby Garland. Those are crappy. And we just get them to bite. I'm using a pearl color. I'm, I get the proper name put in the description later and everything that I'm using. Um, nice, nice cool morning. Ooh, I'm loving this. Loving it. I need a big old crappy to bite it. Need a little bit of action here. Come on, boys. I need you to hit it. Yeah, yeah, I'll go up there around there looking at it. Oh, felt like one hit it right there. Let's drop it down in there again. I'm in the middle of them. In the middle of them. Um... Like you say, I don't know if they want this Barbie Garland, but we'll try a few colors. I mean, the water's really good. Uh, good color in the water. There. I just had to go a little bit deeper to get him. Come on up here, buddy. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, that old pink head works every time. Yeah, that would be a keeper right there. Like on my water, they got to be at least eight inches. So he would be a keeper. Now right, let's go back down there and get us another one. Let's go back down there to them and get us another one. So they liked that. Or at least that one liked it. I'm fishing in 34 foot of water. This brush pile, the top of it's at 22. Oh, 
little sun starting to make its way out. That's okay. I think it's for the most part today. It's supposed to be uh, mostly cloudy. Like a yeah. Oh, he hit that. Guys, we got a hurricane. It's going to be up this way in about three days. I'm in upstate South Carolina. Well, we should get some some of that hurricane. Uh, so you know what that does to the barometric pressure and all that with the fishing. The fishing ought to be good. All right, jump on there. Come on. Jump on there. Oh, we hit that. He hit it. He hit it. Woo. Come on, hit it. Don't let your buddy get it. Oh, we hit that, and he come all. I got a little smaller jig, smaller hook, and I got a different color. I got a little, it's more of a pink color. The jig head itself is pink. We're gonna see if color makes a difference here. I've been throwing that pearl. There he is. Oh, that feels like a good one there. Come on up here. Yeah, it's kind of fooled me a little bit there. He wouldn't be a keeper. Let's throw him back in there. All right, try it again. Try it again. Put the right color down there to him, boy. It makes a difference. And, you know, if you're not catching crappy, change up your color. Go to a little smaller uh, hook size, jig head. Sometimes that makes a difference. Fish the top of your brush piles first. That's where they usually more most active. Bobby Garland. Pink is my fish. Big keeper. <laughs> 